The Chola Navy The ancient Chola's navy was one of the best navy in the world. With the help of that navy they conquered many southeast ancient countries. How is that possible? Let's see. During the period of Rajaraja Chola I, the Cholas used the ships for both commercial and army purposes. But after the period of Rajaraja Chola I, his son, Rajendra Chola created a big navy, and used separate ships for both commercial and army. Chola Navy attained its peak during the period of Rajendra Chola I. Navigation techniques of the Cholas are quite interesting. In recent times we have many advanced technology like GPS, compass and powerful engines, with the help of that devices, we are able to travel long distances, very quick and easy. But in ancient times, the Chola people are traveled safely and quickly with the help of one animal. That is turtles. Wait. How is that possible? Yes, turtles have the ability to travel. Thousands of kilometers, and return back to the same place, without swimming by traveling in water current. By knowing the science of the turtles. The Cholas started steering their ships along the path of the turtles. By using this technique, the Cholas conquered many Southeast Asian countries. How did they build ships? Cholas are very talented in building ships. For navies the ships must be very strong and to carry heavy weights. The trees used to build the ships are usually neem, mahua, alexandrian laurel and java plum. For some reasons if the trees have any rings, they avoid the trees to build the ships. They use wooden nails, instead of iron nails, to prevent it from rusting. Coconut fibers, cotton, lime, oil and jutes are grinded, and mixed to apply on the bottom of the boat, to make it waterproof. This techniques helps the ships for long lasting. Few centuries later. The famous traveler Marcapolo was astonished and appreciated these ship building techniques of Chola's, when he arrived in Coromandel coast. Sections of Chola's naval fleet. The Cani. This Cani naval force is used to initiate the war, and draw the enemy ships to the suitable attacking place. The Thalum. This the Lam naval force is used for surveillance and coast guard. The Mandalam. This Mandalam naval force is specially trained for deep sea operations. The Ganem. This Ganem naval force is big size warships. Ani and Perivu. This type of naval forces used only for small operations. Rajendra Chola is the only king who showed how a navy should work a thousand years ago. The naval army is not as simple as the land army. We simply told, Rajendra Chola navy conquered many countries. But practically they faced lots of sufferings for their country. Behind their each and every victories, they faced lots and lots of challenges like waves, water current, storms, rain, shark attack and psychological problems. Each and every soldiers in the navy are specially trained for long distance sea travel. How they carried the animals with them in ships. If a man sails in the sea for the first time, he gets sea sickness like vomiting, fainting, and digestive problems. If it is too difficult for a human being, just think about animals. If one elephant become angry in the middle of the sea, it will destroy the whole ship. To prevent this problem, the Chola people specially trained the elephants and horses for sea expeditions. In some cases they give natural drug to put animals in sleep, while traveling. They have separate elephants and horses for both land forces and naval forces. They never used land forces animals to sea expeditions. How they drink water in the sea. More than locks of liters of drinking water, taken by the navy ships during the sea expeditions. The drinking water is used by the thousands of soldiers, as well as the animals. Every ships having the storages of drinking water. 
In some cases, a whole ship is carrying only drinking water, for all soldiers and animals. How they eat food. Foods are prepared in the ship itself. Each soldier was provided with high-quality nutritious food like fishes, rice and pulses. They took goats and buffaloes for milk and curd. So that they can fight fastly and bravely. Rajendra Chola took care of his soldiers with great care. Because of his care, his soldiers risked their lives, to fight and conquer many kingdoms, in gratitude to the king. Undoubtedly the Chola Navy is one of the best navies in the world.